Hey everybody, Ann here. Uh, just a quick video to give you an update about the chickens. First of all, the black hen uh, that is in Torch's <laughs> crew, um, I put her in my yard, my enclosed yard with me, and just watched her yesterday, and she's doing some odd stuff. It's like she's pecking at air, but she was up walking, and I did give her electrolyte sol solution as well um, with, a, with a dropper. Um, today she seems better. I kept her in the yard all day with me, but then at night when everybody was going to sleep, I put her back in the coop, and that seemed to work out fine. This morning she does seem better. Um, the baby chicks, well, um, one barred rock passed away, and I figured that was going to happen. Um, she still has a barred rock and a blackish brownish one with her and it's raining again today so I have her up in the van with her babies she's not gonna be out in this rain again and the four others that are in the brooder box right now by the grace of God they are looking better um, I was disappointed this morning when the Bard Rock was no longer with us but the other four I would have figured they all would have been dead by this morning, but they weren't, and they are starting to perk up, so I took a little bit of footage. I mean, this is just unreal. I just cannot believe these chicks are still here. So here, take a look at this. That was one of the new roosters. I don't know which. I don't know if it was Torch or the big black one. I may just have one rooster, so who knows? Let's see. Please, baby, take a bite. Hooray! It's eating! It's eating! The two on the sides are definitely perking up. They are both eating, but uh, Blonde Patty, and that's what I've named her, uh, Blondie is Patty, after my mom, and the other one in the middle there, they're just not eating. I just hope they perk up soon. So cute. You should go back and watch that part again. The first one goes peck, 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 peck. Then the second one does it exactly the same. Peck, 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 peck. Oh, that made me so happy. I didn't have a conventional dropper and I didn't have enough control using a straw so I found this and I rinsed it out very well put the uh, you can take this little cap off and I put some of the uh, electrolyte solution in it um, Pedialyte that my neighbors gave me and it gives me a lot more control it just delivers very little drops and um, uh, yesterday I could open their beaks without any problems they just didn't care Today they're fighting back, so they're getting their strength back, so this is how I'm doing it, and this is how I put them in, um, I'm going to call her Beauty, the the completely black hen, well she's got a little chocolate cocoa color on her belly, but she's black and she's beautiful, so I'm calling her Beauty, and I put some of this in her beak, I, she let me catch her, no problems, and uh, she lapped it right up, so I might do that a little bit more today, just depending on how she's looking. But so far, so good. You may ask why I'm going to this great extent to um, try and save these baby chickens. Well, they're God's creatures, and he put them in my hands. So I feel it's my responsibility and duty to take care of these creatures and do the best that I can um, and just see what happens. You know, I mean, if I don't try something, then, you know, they'll surely die. Um, don't know what's going on with them. Talk to my neighbor. He knows a lot about chickens, and he has a friend who also knows quite a bit about chickens. And um, they talked amongst themselves, and they think that, well, they think they got cold. And then I let them out of the van to free range, and um, it, they just got colder. I mean, they didn't start out. There was only one that was really bad, and that was the barred rock. And um, he or she was just kind of sprawled out in the brooder area back in the back of the van um, and that's when I found uh, Beauty back there in in the box that she wasn't supposed to be in so I think what happened is there was some kind of scuffle some kind of kerfuffle 
maybe uh, Beauty got back in there and um, was just exploring or whatever, and Miss Pris just let her have it, and it, at the time that that happened, maybe a few chicks got trampled on, uh, maybe just one chick got trampled on. But the other six were fine when they came out of the van. They were moving around. They were hunting and pecking. They were doing just fine. And then it started raining. Um, very, very lightly, but still, um, it was a cold night overnight, so the, cold, the ground was colder. And one by one, they just started dropping to the ground. Um, and that's when I separated them. So I think it's a combination of something traumatic happened and uh, one, at least one baby chick got trampled. And I think Beauty maybe was the source of the fight, and she didn't get the better end of it. And uh, so she was stressed, traumatized. Um, and then I let them out free-ranging in the rain. So the, the baby chicks are just too young. They, they're just too young to be out like that. So I'm going to have to really think about my strategy going forward if Miss Pris goes broody again. Um, I'm not going to let her hatch out any more eggs <laughs> because it's going into a cold season and it's it would just be too stressful. So um, we're not going to do that. But you know what? I, I don't know. Oh, they are. Uh, they weren't pasting up initially, but they are now. So every time I take them out and give them electrolytes, uh, I clean their bottoms off. And um, otherwise, there's nothing else it, it, that seems to be going weird with them. Um, they were great one day, and then the next day they weren't great. And people are suggesting, oh, maybe it was the new bedding. No, I've used the same bedding from the start. Um, maybe it was a bad batch. I don't think so. I don't think it was the bedding. Um, I don't, they don't have, that I can see, any ticks, and no, ticks, parasites, mites, or anything like that. Um, they haven't shown signs of, uh, parasite infection. Um, no weird stool, no blood in their stool, or anything like that. Um, so I'm thinking they just got too stressed out in that cold. I think a kerfuffle happened inside the van, a baby chick got injured, and um, so now we're just kind of trying to nurse them back to health, but I don't know. I still don't know what is going on with them. Somebody suggested taking them to a vet. Um, I will not be taking my chickens to the vet. Uh, I do love each and every one of them, but that is an extraordinary measure, and unless I had show chickens or specific chickens for breeding purposes to make money off of, um, that's just not something that right now I'm, I'm considering doing. Um, somebody else suggested antibiotics. Well, there's that, but w why give antibiotics to a chick who might not even need it, who isn't showing any signs of, you know, I don't know. I, maybe they did have an infection. Maybe they do. I don't know, but right now I'm just doing the best I can, and, um, I, Far be it from the internet to tell me that to not tell me that I'm doing it wrong because uh, people like to do that. But um, I'm going with my gut and I'm doing a lot of praying. And so far, the combination of those two things and maybe just the prayer has been helping things. Um, nevertheless, it's helped me feel better. And through this, I, I've realized that I need to be grateful for what I still do have, even if all of these baby chicks pass. Um, oh, and the two others. That are still with Miss Pris, they're doing great. They are doing great. The Bard Rock stuck with her the whole time um, and uh, didn't show any signs of sickness. The little blackish brownish one that I ended up putting back out with her, um, he or she was slow moving at first, but uh, now that baby chick is pretty much almost back to normal following Miss Pris around, so that's good. But I need to be grateful for what I still do have. I still have beautiful Romeo, he's molting, but. Um, so I've increased his protein. Um, I'm just feeding the whole flock uh, starter feed right now. And then I'm supplementing some calcium through eggshells for the laying hens. So I still have Romeo. I still have Roxy. I still have uh, Coco. I have the four Easter Eggers. And I've got the um, five other chickens that are in the side yard now. And at least one, maybe two are roosters. I don't know. Maybe Torch is a hen. Um... So that is the update for today. I'm going to go ahead and update this on the day it's actually happening. So I better get off here and get to editing. Anyhow, thank you all for your encouragement. Thank you for your prayers and supportive comments. It means a whole lot to me. So, uh, well, I'm just going to go take care of those baby chickens again. 
That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.